BTV squad, Berto here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then hi, I'm Berto and you just stumbled across my YouTube channel. Guys, today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video that um, I didn't think I was ever going to make, but I decided to make it because I really didn't have time to film anything this week. This week has been chaotic. So I've known that I wanted to make like a story time on this channel for a while. The last time I made one of these was like 2019 and funny enough it is another stalker story. But this is a different type of stalker video. Um, I feel like this one's definitely, this one's more intense. Um, that stalker video that I did back in 2019 was um i feel like that one was more that one was less serious um it was still creepy and i think that one proves that when you have your life on social media posting um things like that are just bound to happen but um i think this story time is gonna prove that you don't have to be a social media person an influencer you could be private and someone that you know close someone that you trust of can actually be someone you don't know that they are i'm going to try to go through this video as much detail and as quick as possible because <coughs> i feel like story times have to have detail but i also wouldn't like a super long story time either so I'm gonna do my little hand pump right here. This releases my stress and my anger and my anxiety. I have ADHD, bro. They say you could be born with ADHD and not show symptoms so you're an adult, which, <laughs> me. This person, we're gonna call him John. John was a close family friend with my parents. John um, was a normal family guy. Um, he had his wife and kids. You're a typical neighbor. And my parents were really close with these people. John, in particular. But the whole family, of course. And this started in around 2015. The friendship, at least. In 2016, we moved from where we used to live in our old neighborhood. Funny enough, my old neighborhood is about five minutes away from me. It's not that big of a difference. So my parents eventually invited John and the family over to see the new house. Obviously, you know, this is where we live now, you know? Now, once we moved to this house, John started acting a little weird. Uh, John would randomly show up to the house without calling which was our first sign slash red flag that something was off um yes you could show up to people's houses randomly when you're really close friends and all but i feel like john did it a little bit too excessively now this is all going to come into play because at the end of the day the one who actually had this stalker was my mom um john was after my mom <coughs> a little funny i'm sorry when my father wasn't around john would surprisingly show up now my mom didn't think any of it till like the fourth or fifth time that he actually showed up without my dad being home now like i've said before and i'll say it again don't do that don't ever pull up to my house um i have guns this one time john pulls up and my dad was at work, I believe. Now, John had this thing to show up to the house around e evening time. So I'd say like around 6 p.m. So maybe it's not nighttime, depending on if we were in daylight savings or not, it'd be nighttime. So my dad was at work and he shows up. And I remember at this time I was having issues with my computer. So. I'm sitting in the living room with my computer. It was my MacBook. It was the 2015 MacBook Pro. Um, 
that computer had a fan issue. Not like, it's not even important to story time, I'm sorry. But yeah, I started talking to him about the issues I was having with my computer or whatnot. But, so he sits next to me, he starts like trying to see like running the di diagnostics on the computer or whatnot. John was a big tech geek. And my mom goes outside to like, I guess, I think she went outside to like broom or check the laundry or something because our laundry is like on a little um, room on the outside. It's a laundry room on the outside of the house. So while I'm sitting in the couch with John, John proceeds to ask me where my father was. And I go, oh, he's at work. My dad's at work, you know? He should be coming home any second now. And John goes, neat, you know, whatever he told me, something, he said something stupid. So I'm like, yeah. And then he goes, so how, like, how old is your mom? And I'm like, I don't even know my parents' ages. So I just said, like, 50, I don't know. He said his age. I don't remember what he said. But I know he said his age. And whatnot, right? So my mom comes back in a couple minutes later. I closed my computer, I think I came upstairs to my room or whatnot. I kind of overheard John leave in a rush. And I think, if I'm not wrong or mistaken, it was when my mom said that my dad was almost home because my mom was gonna make coffee. And she was like, do you want some coffee? Um, at this point, I was very young. I think I was like 13 years old. So I don't really remember. I didn't figure out all these details till I got older. Technically. My mom said that she noticed she, that he, John, John was acting a little weird, you know, looking at her weird, if that makes sense. I eventually told um, my dad that John kept pulling up whenever he wasn't around, surprisingly, right? And I do remember for, John never came back after that. And he didn't come back for like, I don't know, six months. And then one day I was in my room and we have ring cameras on our, in our house. So um, I see John come up to the front door and he rings the doorbell and my dad opened the door. Now, I didn't think anything of it again. I was young. So I didn't watch the video doorbell or anything. They were arguing, John and my dad. So after that, John disappeared for another six months. Six months later, we're gonna say it's like 2017 now. And me and my mom left the house. Um, I think my dad, my dad wasn't here. My dad was in Miami, so. Me and my mom went out to go get groceries and we noticed that on our way to the grocery store, the exact same car that John drove was behind us. So I don't think I didn't pay much attention to it, but my mom did. She was like, hey, Berto, you know, doesn't the car that's like right behind us, that's been behind us for like three minutes, doesn't it look like John's, John's car? And I'm like, yeah, it does. It's the exact same car, actually. So we tried to look through the mirror, our mirrors into the car behind us to see if it was John. But for some freaking reason, we couldn't tell if this was John. It was, but we couldn't tell. The car is still behind us. My mom parks and the car kept driving and it like, it kept driving after we parked i think it made a left and it passed through the row in front of us and i think that's when we finally were able to actually see it face front through the pat the driver's side window and we saw that it was john or at least it looked very much like john through the side window so me and my mom going to the grocery store we never saw john in the grocery store whatever we come back to the car and we're loading the groceries into the car. No sign of John. Cool. We're good. Whatever. 
We get back in the car, we pull out, and now we are exiting the grocery store. And we get to the stop sign to leave, and we pull out, no problem. And then I remember seeing through the mirror, the right mirror where I was sitting at, um, the car pulls up behind us. Well, not directly, but it had just like pulled out behind us. So in my head, I'm like, oh, look, mom, the car's behind us again. And she goes, oh, yeah. Hmm. We get home, we park, we start unloading the groceries. And no sign of John. For somehow, some way, some reason, when I was inside starting to organize the groceries, within like a freaking 20 second limit, my mom says that the car pulled up like almost next to her. And like, it was just like sitting there looking at her unload the groceries. And my mom said, side eye. That wasn't a thing back then, but literally now that's literally what she did. She side eyed, kept getting the groceries and got everything inside. And then she locked the door, locked the car, whatever. And she stayed inside. And then when she looked outside our front window, the car wasn't there no more. And I think at this point she realized it was John and things were getting serious at this point. My mom sends some of her friends to the old, from our old block. Not even from our old block, but like people that she's known, her friends. And she sent like two, two people to check the old neighborhood and see if they still own these cars. And they did. John still owned this black car. We didn't go to the police. We just told my dad. We're like, hey, this, this, and this happened. He got home in like two days. Um, he comes back and he's like, my mom text John. And basically, at the short end of the story, mom texts John. John admits that it is him. Now, my mom obviously feels weird, uh, feels weirded out about it because you're stalking a woman with a kid and a husband, and you as well have kids and a wife. So it's very weird. And my mom's like, can you stop? Like, I don't wanna go to the cops or anything. Literally just stop. I'm not sure. Because again, this isn't like my stalker story. It technically is like our family soccer story, but mostly my mom. So I don't know what happened. There's like a chunk missing here, but it's gonna lead to the big ending to this story, which is my mom basically invites him over for a date. My dad isn't home. I don't know how they pulled this off, but I watched very quietly from my bedroom right here, from this window that's in front of me. But he drove by like three or four different times that night and then on the fourth time he finally stops at the house and he gets out or whatever and my mom was waiting for him outside. I don't know, I think they hugged and my dad comes out and he's like, what the fuck are you doing here? And this man shits himself, right? After that. I think you guys could assume what happens. Um, they got into a brawl, um, a little, a little argument, right? A little physical argument. Yeah, we lured in our stalker, which ended up being one of her family friends. But yeah, this started in like it started 2015 to 2017. It was three years. I feel like it was a little more climactic in my head and as it and it was climactic to live it it was weird to live it um i was younger though so i didn't really understand it or knew exactly what was going on but um none of the less it's weird and it's something that could literally happen to anyone and it's like it's something that i think everyone should have in their back of their heads like hey you're my friend and all, and these people are really close with me or whatever, but you can never second 
you can't overlook someone if you feel sus about someone because you don't need to be on social media or in the public eye for something like this to happen to you. It could literally happen to anyone. So John was never to be seen again. Um, John moved out of the state, but yeah. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully next week's video is a little bit more entertaining or more you're like. I don't know what you like, but tell me down below what you do want to see and I will make that content for you. Turn on the post notification bell to get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.